Hello, it's Paul, and in this part of the video, or this video is all about Zoho CRM for new users. If you have just started a job that are using CR, Zoho CRM, if you are looking to go to a job interview where you need information about Zoho CRM, or you just want to know what Zoho CRM does, this is the video for you. There is, um, you will get a certificate for this if you follow the link that's in the description. It may be on the screen as well. Uh, and just for watching this video, you do get the new user um, Zoho One Experience certificate. So it's worth getting once you've watched this video. I'm going to show you everything you need to know to understand what Zoho CRM does um, and how your company or your prospective company will use it. And hopefully this will either get you to land a job or get you to be the Zoho expert in the office. So let's dive in, let's explain to you what Zoho CRM is and what it does. CRM, I'm sorry if I'm telling you to suck eggs, is customer relationship management. This is a platform for sales teams to manage their customers, manage their deals, and manage their interactions with them. So you go and see a customer, uh, they want a price for a job, you log all that information, you log any personal information uh, that might help you in the future, remembering things about them. You interact, email, message, um, phone calls. You turn it into a deal, and then you either try to win or lose that deal, right? So I'm going to fly through and introduce you to the home screen. The home page is where all your quick things are, the, your up-and-coming tasks that you've got to do, any leads you've got to follow up any deals that you need to close this month you can set this to work however you want so you can this page is your is like your uh, dashboard to what do i need to do today what have i got on that i need to get done leads these are people that haven't done anything with your company yet they haven't you haven't interacted with them it doesn't matter if they've bought off you what it matters when leads is do they want you to contact them so on the grapevine, this, I call this the grapevine uh, people. So one of your friends said, oh, um, I work a lot with security companies, so it's easier for me to explain if you're a security company. Somebody you know comes in and says, um, I've just been in that chip shop and they need a new fire alarm. So you, that's all you know. You don't know the chip shop owner's name. You don't know the chip shop. Um, you don't know the business or anything, but you put it in as a lead and then it's down to you to find that information out. So you're going to go back in and try and find contact information. Um, reach out to that person. Would you like me to uh, give you a prize for a fire alarm? When they say yes, then you convert into a contact and an account. We'll go through this in a second fully and show you the start to finish of how to do it. Contacts are people who want to or who have dealt with your company. These are people, contacts, people that you would phone that you would contact, right? The account is the business, the people that probably pay the bill. Now, sometimes with contacts and accounts, it can be the same person. So if you're, busy, if you're B2C, uh, business to consumer, or your business to business, if you're, um, say, I'm, again, a burglar alarm company, I'm going to sell Mrs. Smith a burglar alarm. She would both be the contact and the account in this, in this case. Whereas if it's a business that pays the bill, the business will be the... Um, the account and the contact there could be multiple contacts for that business right deals this is really where you will spend a lot of your time if you're a salesperson or some sort of admin trying to help people out but this is you've got a deal in the pipeline that you've got to move from the initial phone call the initial converting the lead into all the way down the pipeline into closed one or closed lost right so you've got a deal, you need to drag it across and, there's, uh, and win the job. That is the whole point of a sales pipeline, isn't it? So it starts out, you know nothing about it, you research it, you have a meeting, you present a proposal, you negotiate the price, and then you either close win or you close loss the job. And everything on CRM is about this pipeline. It's about getting deals over the line and then... Once you've done it one one thing with a company, a customer, maybe two a year's time, they phone you for something else, and you've got all that information at your fingertip that you've already you've already got. You've got the contact details, you've got their account information, and you've got any previous deals, ones or lost, in 
in the system, right? So that is really where the vast majority of people's time would live in deals. Activities, this is like, you know, customers that you've got to go and do things for, open deals, any meetings coming up, any contacts, anything like that, and any other information you've put up. Again, you can set this out however you want it to work. Set it in a list, set it in a in a Kanban style where however you want it to work or the best way you find to work in it, you want to see your activity. What do I need to do today? I need to phone Mr. So-and-so. I need to set up a meeting with uh, that company. I need to uh, finish uh, that deal proposal, whatever it might be. It's going to live in your activity, right? Reports, pretty much as it says, in the free version, the very basic, but it's going to be, you know, obviously a salesperson, a sales team, any, any, um, any business really you've got to see what the pipeline looks like how how much money is coming down the pipe how many deals have been signed off how many phone calls have you made how many meetings all that sort of stuff can be tracked by your boss uh, and then feeds feeds think like a, a facebook a mini internal office facebook where people can say i'm going to this business i'm going to work at so and so today anybody worked at it and other people in the contact in the, in the business can see what you've put and, you know, yeah, I've worked there. I can help you out and stuff like that. And so the feeds is a little bit like a mini social network. And if you close deals, so here, updated a deal, updated a deal to one, and people can say, oh, well done, you you, you closed the job off. Settings, search, obviously you can search, and there's different settings and, and all sorts of things. Um, in the system, if you're allowed to it, as a new user, you probably won't be allowed to do much settings. But you, but you you can let your boss know things can change and you can customize things to work yourself. So that's just a quick walk around and I will go a little bit more in depth into each area. Go through that in a whole process so you understand exactly what I mean. So we're going to get a lead and we're going to say, um, what we're going to say, uh, the, the, the local bar wants some CCTV cameras, right? So my friend has come to me and said, hey, Paul, um, I was in the bar last night and they had a bit of an issue and the landlord needs some new cameras. Might be worth you giving him a call. So you're going to put that into the system as a lead. So I'm going to go to leads. There's multiple ways of doing it. I could just quickly go here and add a lead. I can go up to this plus sign up here, add a lead. And at this point, I don't know any information. I know the pub is called The Grove, right? The Grove Inn. I know... I think the landlord's name is Steve, right? Last name, you have to put a last name in. I'm just going to put find out. You don't know his name at this point. You don't know the phone number. You don't know the website. You might know the website is thegrove.com. You might know the phone number is whatever, but you don't know a lot of information. All you know is uh, Craig said um, needs new cctv system so this is all we're putting in it's a it's a grapevine lead possible lead and it's our job to quantify this lead to qualify it and say um do you want to go further do you want to come us to come in right so uh, lead source we're going to say external referral my friend has referred that lead save done right so i'm oh, sorry this account is sarah sales this is, this is who I am acting as, right? So now it's my job to go find out more information. Here's all my leads. I want to either close them or get them into a deal, get them into my contact database. So I'm going to go back to, I might go back to Craig and say, oh, what's landlord's name? And he might say, um, it's Steve uh, Jones, right? Have you got his phone number? Oh, yeah, here's it his mobile phone number. Any info? Yeah, he's a nice bloke. Um, got his email address? No, I ain't got his email address. Okay, cool. But we've got we've got his name, and now we've got a phone number. So what we can do with this uh, is schedule a call or log a call. So up in here is activities. So these are the things that have happened, and here's an activity of I'm going to make a call to Steve Jones. Now I can either. Um, Log it as I'm doing it, like now. So I could call now and start the call and set the timer. I can I can phone him and then do this just to track that I've called him. 
or I can schedule a call to remind me. So what I might do is say, uh, CCTV new call, whatever you call it, right? Call purpose, prospecting. Related to an account and call type, uh, won't work in, in the lead and description, uh, new CCTV possible. Right, oh, sorry. And, and I'm going to put, I'm going to phone him tomorrow at 10 a.m. I don't know why it does that. Um, 11 a.m. 11 a.m. tomorrow. And I'm going to schedule it. Schedule a call. Call result. Oh, we'll do that afterwards. And save, right? So now the next day comes. So if we went to the next day, my activity would would show call uh, Steve. Get approval, register. They're not all there, are they? You would see that the, in your activity log, things to do, leads to call. Here we go. Um, CCTV new call. So tomorrow comes. It would pop up and notify me. Don't forget your call at 11. So we go in and uh, we do the call. So let's go back to the deal. CCTV new call in uh, prospect. It. Oh, I don't usually come in this way. Call duration. So we make the call. We're going to edit it. We make the call. And mark this call as complete. Call duration took 30 minutes. Description, call results. They're interested. They're interested, right? So now we know that this deal, this uh, lead is interested. So we're going to go in Steve Jones. So now it's my job to convert. They have... They are saying that they want to speak to us. They want us to work with us. They're not saying they've bought the product. At this point, they're just saying, yes, contact me. And a lot of people here will say, we don't think people are a contact until they've bought something. Well, I the thing with Zoho CRM, you cannot create a deal for a lead. You can only create deals for, um, for contacts or accounts that are already in. So you've got to convert them to be able to create the deal which they then will win or lose, right? So I'm going to go convert up the top here. Sorry, at the top. So you're going to your lead. So I've just had a phone call. I've just had an email or whatever it might be. Steve Jones has said, I want, a, uh, I want, to, I want to hear more from you. Convert to lead. Sorry, convert, convert the lead into, we're going to have an account. So this is the person that pays the bill. This is the company. And then a contact, Steve Jones, works for that company. And we're going to create a deal. Uh, we're going to say we've had a quick, we've had a quick chat, and we think it, we think it's about a three thousand pound camera system. We're going to sell them. This is a ballpark figure. It's just to help build your pipeline. You can edit it later as you um, work out exactly how much it is. The Grove in, and it's pretty urgent. We're going to give ourselves end of next week to finish it. Um. If you've already done the meetings, you can jump to whichever part of the pipeline that you are in, because you might be qualifying. Um, you might have to go and research, but you, you might already have done the meeting and you're going to just give them a quote. So you might jump all the way to quote. Um, but what I'll do is I'll leave it a qualification oh, and I'll just show you the pipeline as we go through it. Contact role. Well, Steve Smith is the manager and he is the decision maker. If If he was... If he wasn't the, the decision maker, then you might have to identify the decision maker and then go and talk to them. Campaign source, if you've got them set up, this might be Steve Smith's phoned me uh, and I've said to him, how have you heard about us? And this might be Facebook page, Facebook ad, uh, yellow pages, um, advertising, something or other. So then what you can do is you can track from that campaign how much money that it made. So... If you've got a campaign, you can tag it if that person's knows, and you can say who is it for. If it's for somebody else, if you're assigned to somebody else, it's your job to assign deals to people. This is where you would pick them. But I'm going to convert it, and now I have got Steve has got a account. Sorry, the Grove has got an account. The Grove in account, and the information on the business. There is a deal. Sorry, there is a contact now and all the contact information, activity, emails and things will be tracked. 
So you can see all that information and there is a deal been set up. So we can now work on this deal to get it over the line. Right, let's look at contacts and accounts and some information. It's a lot of these pages, you're gonna to start to, to see a lot of things that are saying. This is this is the deal, accounts and, and history and activities, contacts are all the same. So in a contact, right, Steve Jones, I can see the information. If I've all, if I've now found out his email, I'm gonna put in um, Steve at thegrove.com. All right, depending on what version you're running, it will track emails. Um, if I want to put, I've, I've, had, I've had this personal contact with Steve, and he's told me, uh, wife, name is um, Sally, works at the school, uh, kids are Tina and Dave. Tina uh, dances same place as my daughter. Pri private information that, 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 that they've told you as you've gone and had a chat. Worked there, worked at Grove for 10 years. So next time, wh why are you putting this down? Why are you putting this information? The next time you have a conversation, you go, oh, how's your wife Sally doing? She still works at so-and-so. How's Tina's dancing going? I can't believe you've, have you worked here 10 years, on you? Just like things that, that you might not have remembered because you've got 50, 60, 70 customers to remember. But as you go, before you go for a meeting with this person, you can have a quick look at your notes. Oh yeah, daughter's called Tina. Kids, uh, Dave, Dave's the son. Sally works at the local school information now at your fingertips to just give, make the customer experience a bit better. In the contact, we can also see the, the, the deals assigned to that contact and we can jump on them if we want. We can see activity of phone calls. We can see forward, depends how the, um, um, depends how you set up, but in the free version, you're just gonna see if, if sent from the CRM. You may or may not do that. Uh, in the paid versions, you can track it with your actual own emails. I can see any activities that are open, uh, any notes I've made, and I can jump around, right? I can go up to the top here and go to the company. The company information is the same, different fields. You might be looking at different fields because there's, there's, there might be things that you don't need. Your, whoever set your CRM up might say you don't need the SIC code. Delete it. You don't need to know how many employees work there. We never fill any of this information in. So you get rid of the, get rid of the fields you don't use. But again, down the sideline, toolbar, deals, contacts, add a contact, add a new contact. Joe Blogs works there. I oh, know, I always do that. Blogs. All right. Phone number. All you really need on a contact is the last name. So now this company has two contacts. Um. Social media, you can track it, you know, as there any social media, you can connect and say, this is that company's profile. So if you go into a job and you see on the profile, they've got, um, they've got a Christmas party or a 70s disco or a quiz night and you'll turn up and you go, oh, there's a quiz night tomorrow in there. I might come. You're like, it's just extra information at your fingertips to be able to jump in and see their profile, jump in and see the company profile and you can jump around, you know, contact. Go back to Steve Smith. Deal. Jump into the deal, which is what we're going to talk about next. So let's talk about deals. Let's talk about the real reason you're going to use the OCRM free version. And that is tracking the deals, tracking the money, getting people from, I'm interested in a CCTV system or whatever the product is you're selling, getting them over this pipeline, moving them up these stages. So this is the pipeline. You might hear of sales pipelines, where there's a lot of stuff at the top of the funnel. There's a lot of new customers, but your job is to get them down the funnel, down each stage, and into close one or close lost. So we want to get this job. Are you having it or you're not? So what you'll do is you've you've got the initial meeting. Oh, keep I keep me, me keyboard's very sensitive. You've gone from qualification right. I'm all the way up now to value proposition. I've got to give value and then deliver the quote. So I've got maybe a meeting. I've got to 
I've got to go to the Grove and have a meeting. All right, so I'm going to go here and inside activity, I'm going to add an activity meeting. I need to set a meeting up and get on a meeting, right? On site meeting. All right, we're going to do it tomorrow at 12, right? Well, 11, let's do 11.30. Uh, host related to the contact. Um, add Steve Jones so I can send him an email, I may, I think. Uh, and you save. Uh, would you like to send invitation to guests? So would you like to tell Steve Jones he's going to get a, an invite? I better not because there might be a Steve at the grove.com. And I put do not send. And now I've got, a, I've got an open activity for this deal. So for this, I then might have to set up a task, prepare for meeting, right? Prepare meeting tomorrow at, uh, it's high priority, uh, daily. Oh yeah, it's just a one thing. We're going to save it, right? Prepare for meeting. So it comes to tomorrow, it comes, I go about my day, I've got this deal as done. I've got all my other deals in the pipeline, right? I'm not just working with one person, but tomorrow comes and we know that we've got um, the Grove meeting to do and we've got to prepare for it and then we know we've got the on-site meeting, right? Open deals, on-site meeting. So we're going to the Grove, we're having a meeting. We, we take it now, the customer is interested. The value proposition, you have said, we can provide these CCTV cameras. This is about the, the price. This is what they'll cover. This is what you can get. Would you be interested in having a price? We know that Steve is already the decision maker, so we're going past this. And we're going to go to proposal and negotiate. Now, now what you'll see is, here's the timeline here as well. We're trying to get to close one and we're getting closer, aren't we? We've started off down this pipeline here, and we're getting closer. Now we're, now we're doing a quote. Now we're going off on whatever quoting system. If you've got a paid version of OCRM, you can do it in OCRM, but you may now have to go off and do a quote, and you might attach that quote into this deal. So if you've got a PDF, upload file, grab a file, uh, just a YouTube picture, but this might be your quote, right? And I'm going to attach that as the quote on here. And I'm going to send it to the customer. Customer, now we've moved to negotiate review. So you'll notice again in Zoho, lots of different ways to move stuff. You could just drag and drop here to negotiate. <coughs> Sorry. Or you can go into it. And we are now into the negotiate review stage of the deal. The final part is coming. So... Back in the deal, I'm going to open another activity and I'm going to do a call. I'm going to schedule a call, uh, subject, yes or no. You've probably got a better way of saying that in your business. Um, negotiation call uh, related to the Grove Inn and we're going to schedule a call for Wednesday next week at... Um, what time do we think is going to be best? 2.30, right? 2.30, now it's in my list of things to do. It's in my activities. It comes to the next week. I get a pop-up, phone the Grove, phone Steve at the Grove, phone number, and get a yes or no out of them. So you make your call. Steve, are you in? Are you having these new cameras or not? Or do you need me to come and give you some more information? Steve is in. Yes, we're having it. Let's do it. And we're here. Closed one on that date and we've got a star your uh, boss will see that you've got a closed deal uh, or you get closed lost why don't you want it our oh, um smart security was cheaper lost on deal lost on price right okay. if they tell you save it and now you've got a closed lost thumbs down Let's go back to close one. Let's finish with some positivity. And now that is ha that is the pipeline done. You now pass that on to however your process is to get the product to the customer and then the, the accounts department charge them. But your job as a salesperson or admin or whatever it might be is done. And that is what you're using Zoho CRM for mainly, especially on the free version. 
Let's just talk a little bit about the collaboration side of it and how you can tag your boss. You can crag tag things in. Um, you know, the, your boss will see that you're lost on price or any information, even though it's updated. Um, so if I go in, this is your boss seeing this. Can see Sarah Sales updated a deal. And how's oh, that going? But you can also say, so say your next deal is this, uh, Chane, whatever that Chane is. We're going to go to fields and I'm going to ask the sales team because say everybody else is connected. Hello, uh, heading to Chane today. Anybody done work with them? And post that out. It's like a Facebook status. Think of it as um, a quick way to ask people questions without having to bother them all with emails. The boss might come in, come to his job, come to his CRM and see, head into Chanel today, anybody? And the boss might come in or another salesperson might come in and say, uh, hello, at, and then can put your name in. Uh, uh, yes, I know them well. I'll come and have a chat with you. Something like that, right? Or you could go um, back onto yours. You can go to this deal. There might be a closed deal that's sort of showing some life. And the boss might say, so if we go to Chane, the boss might, this is the boss's profile. The boss might go here to Chane. And, and, and tag you in something and say, uh, go down to notes and say, uh, at, um, Sarah, sorry, I'm, I wasn't surprised to see that there. At Sarah, uh, can you look into this deal? I think it may be uh, a good time to visit, something like that. So your boss might tag you in something. They may change the ownership of the job, of the deal to you, deal owner. The boss might say, I'm too busy to do this. I'm gonna pass it on to Sarah. So he's just tagged you and then said, can you take this over? So now when we go back to yours, you've got notifications. Updated a deal, posted a comment. Uh, hello, yeah, uh, updated a deal. Chane. You can see them. So what you can see, basically I'm saying you can tag people and you can comment. And it's a bit more interactivity in the office on big projects. So you're not always on your own. So it's an idea to know if you get notifications that you've been tagged or commented. It, you know, it's just somebody writing in a feed or, or doing something like that. Uh, or you might do this. Chane is a 55,000, oh, it's all right. Uh, oh, no, yeah, let's go back. It's very keen, mate. There's something wrong with my keyboard, right, Chane? $55,000 deal, I'm going to win it, right? £55,000 deal. In the feeds, you have just updated a deal. Probably, probably changed from, I don't know why this doesn't have a bit more of a fancier. Won the deal. So the boss is now coming here. We'll get updated a deal probability. Congratulations. Nice work. The boss will also get a email. There's gonna be loads of emails here after all that stuff in there. Notification, the boss gets this. Big deal has been created. Um, Sarah Sales has, has closed the Sharnay job. 55,000, the boss is giving you a call. So it's a good interactive and the collaboration stuff's really sweet as well. Let's just quickly talk about the app as well. So just think about taking all this information with you everywhere you go. If I open the app, obviously you have to log in and you're gonna be able to see deals open. You're gonna see relatively the same thing as you see on the desktop. You can see that information. You can see the contacts for the job any notes and things on the contact. 
send them an email, any details on emails, uh, things like that in the uh, in there. Obviously, you can see the feeds where people have commented. You've got notifications on there. I'm actually logged in as the boss here. This is not Sarah. That's why it just notified. Any leads? I can see all the leads in the system that I need to qualify. Any contacts? If I'm looking for someone's contact information, obviously, I just type it in there. Go blogs, right? Golden Chippy. Press the phone button. Press the email button. Add any notes, maybe, I want. In the more section here, I can see my deals. So I'm on the fly, on the road. Oh, I don't think I clicked on it then, did I? Deals. Uh, all deals. Closing this month, I can filter it down. My deals. I can take a look at the deals. Take a look at the information. Again, add any notes. Add a voice note. Allow a microphone. Uh, one, two, three, four. Save voice note. So you've got to, you're on the fly. Remember to call so and so, or remember this thing for that. So the app is very good as well. It's going to take all that information off the desktop, off your computer, of your laptop, or the web browser, whatever the app is, wherever you've been using it, and it takes it with you wherever you go. So it's really cool, isn't it? Another just a really valuable thing to know that you can take the app and work that way as well. So I hope that gave you an initial insight. It gave you some good ideas on exactly how your company or the new company you're going to work for or a job interview, how OCRM works. So it gives you a bit more information to walk in there knowing you know a bit more about it. It's very easy to use. It's easy to get around. There's multiple ways to get to the same place. Um, and uh, there's, there's also a lot more it can do. If you're not using the free version, if you look here and it says enterprise or something like that there's a lot that Zoho can do there's a lot of customization there's a lot of things it can do to speed up processes it might be sending out e-documents and tracking products and tracking inventory and all sorts of things uh, on, a, on a higher level which that's obviously next stage next stage if you come to pnuk.co Zoho CRM I'll put, I'll put links all the way through this video there is a new user certification for you, and if you take that, it is just watching this video that you've just done, and it will give you... Oh, it's going to be a bit weird for me, isn't it? Uh, is it going to be a little bit funky on me? Yeah, because I'm logged in as me. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give you a certificate there. It's because I'm admin, it just won't let me in, I don't think. Oh, I need to click here. I need to click here. Oh, my God, Paul. Just so that you can take, if you need a, a certificate or you need some information to take with you, then you can. And your certificate for completing the job is there. There's all one experience, new user training for watching this part of this video. Uh, just jump in. There's also a forum. If you go to any lesson, you will see there is a Zoho CRM forum where you can ask any questions you want. Uh, dive in, put me to work. Say, I need to know this. Is there a video on that? I need to know that. Ask in the YouTube comments. You can also ask there. No problem. I will try and help you out. But all the best. I hope I've given you some ideas. Cheers for watching.